What am I doing with my life? Let me make sure these earphones are good though. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name's The Frenzy Gamer, and welcome back to what I think is going to be the season finale of Doki Doki Literature Club. And uh, I'm just. You know what? It's, it's just time to get this over with, guys. I, I have too much of a nightmare experience playing this. It's so much fun though, but. Uh, I just freaking hate it. But yeah, today we're gonna do anything that's uh, with Natsuki today because we want to talk to Natsuki. You see this shit? You see that shit over there? Mm 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 mm. Mm mm. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. You have a uh, ancient Mayan text. Why am I still playing this? I don't know. Like I am just so scared. I am scared for my life. Vanilla, freaking lollipop, lipstick, uh, sing, vivid. Oh God, color, love. My heart. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, god. Just... Uh, why am I doing this? I don't know why. It's just... I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna finish this, and then I'm instantly regretting that decision, this, uh, decision right now. Like, why am I doing this? I don't know. It's just... I made a promise. And then I have to go through with that promise, and that's what I'm doing now. But let's just get started. Uh, hi, Lorenza. Uh, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool, and I guess another girl will be nice this time. So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Damn. Yuri's a fucking savage, guys! He's a fucking savage! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Ooh! Oh. Natsuki! Fuck you, Yuri, man! Why you gotta be a hoe? Oh, man. I'm, l I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Lorenzo, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. I have plans with Natsuki. Guys, <laughs> is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Lorenzo is really engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into the literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I just... It actually doesn't matter. Not like I care or anything. <laughs> It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Oh god! Can I go back to that? <laughs> Just take a screenshot, there you go. <laughs> um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have an a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make me- can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. 
Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold for this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me a water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down to the teacher's desk. I just simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking uh, mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, I have the water pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Uh, that that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did you leave? Did Yuri leave again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Oh no 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 no. Dun 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 dun. Ten minutes pass, and shit's gonna happen. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. It's is something holding her up. I'm bored, just waiting here. So I decided to look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. I start to head down the hallway. Oh no 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 no! It's coming in the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> a sharp inhale, like something someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? She's killing herself, my dude! You have to go in there! What the fuck are you doing? Why do I name you me? You're not like me at all. I say she's died, Yuri. Oh my god! Really? Okay, I got a few questions. Oh shit, my microphone's falling off. See, everything is going wrong in this episode, if you can see here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, Lorenzo, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you a, a word of advice. This is from your present meme. Okay, first things first. If someone is going alone, you should probably go with them. If they're taking too long, hurry down and check to see how they're doing. Because it could be something really bad, but your dumbass is like, oh yeah, you know, I, I trust her. It's not like he's going to commit suicide or anything. I mean, like, Sayori didn't commit suicide, right? Oh wait, who's Sayori? <laughs> oh god, oh my god. Anytime. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Lorenzo, do you like online tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. <sighs> I saw her doing it, and like, the game is like, no, nope, you're gonna have to just wait a bit. <laughs> Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> Wait, hold up. In that case, you'll only need to be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Gary fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. <laughs> you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do so, when it's you who's around anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Um, just don't push yourself too much, okay? You're always worrying about me, Lorenzo. It's very endearing. That's, uh, Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Lorenzo, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. 
I just have pack pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always touch over like that while reading? Yeah! That, that's exactly what it is. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we shouldn't sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get a book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our sides, as if in sync. We assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in the position that makes it even harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression and I can only presume the world around her was just fading away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Oh god, I, I hate when- I hate the dots, cause it's like, you know something's gonna happen. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening up the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's- that's okay, I won't take any. Uh, you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. I was just really focused on snacks. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already focused on reading again. I'll take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate. And I hold it up for y to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. Huh! I apprehensively place a chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips to cover it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Lorenzo? Uh, sorry! I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh. I... I can't. Lorenzo? Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arms and jerks me out to my feet. My teacup gets kicked over. Ooh! <laughs> Lorenzo? Oh god. My heart. She's gonna commit suicide. She's gonna commit suicide. Suicide. I'm trying to call myself from this, but I can't. Because I'm fucking scared. My heart won't stop pounding. I can't calm down. I just need to stab myself or something. Because I just thought of that because of the way she cut her arm before. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Lorenzo? Gary suddenly pressed my hands against her chest. Woo! Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Just make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Woohoo! Do it, do it, do it, do, do, do it. Ha ha! Yes. Ha ha!
Just, just fucking do it already. Ha ha! Okay. Just, just fucking do it. I'm already scared enough for- Oh my god! Thank you, Monica, uh, for saving me. Even though it's not what you meant. Uh, um... It's time to share poems. <laughs> I'm gonna share it to Natsuki first, because that's what I wanted to spend time with anyway. This one's alright. Alright. Yeah, it's better than yesterday's. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I wanted to spend time with you, but Yuri just over here looks like, Oh yeah, you know, you, you just gotta, you know, you gotta be with me, bro. Or I'ma kill Natsuki. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all can participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, the poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? Why does it have the cute music, though? Alright, so we're just gonna read this. Um, maybe the game music is a little too loud, though. Yeah, there we go. That should be a little bit better. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been actually kind of acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here for a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to be a better friend, better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please, if you can, do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I just have to. Just. Please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. I just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Aw, Natsuki. You're a good friend. Oh, no, 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 no. I changed my mind. Ignored everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Lorenzo? Can you really hear me? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. But the game doesn't let me spend time with Monica, don't you know that? Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just keep saying Monica. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Hold up, am I looking at this right, right? It's still recording, right? What? Oh my god. I think it changes depending on who you read it to. We're gonna try giving it to Monica first. Oh, Lorenzo, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily 
excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket and knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Isn't that kind of messed up that you're doing literally fucking nothing to help her out? But I already know why you're doing it, because, you know, you just want to be with me and you want to take out the competition. So that's why you're telling me this now, like, thinking like I'm a dumbass, so I should have went to go to Yuri. Now we're getting all my life decisions in one. Oh, my God. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep yourself distance, that will probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. You're a fucking ho, Monica! You're a fucking ho! I swear to God, I'm done! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm totally fine. I'm just fucking mad. Because... Monica's a fucking hoe. I swear to God. Oh, I'm so pissed. Ah, sh you gotta be fucking kidding me. Anyway. I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. <laughs> Trying to calm myself down a little bit because this is scaring me a little bit. Jeez, that actually startled me. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at it, um, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. And then Yuri kills herself. Maybe. Finally! Uh -huh. Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Learn so I want to take this home. Why are you trying to be like Sayori now? Except Sayori actually was best girl. I'm just saying. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. You're so nice to me, Lorenzo. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but... Yeah, you would! I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. It's like it's like they copy and pasted Sayori's text and just put it in there, except this time it's like a Yuri twist to it. So it's like the crazy bitch side of Yuri right there. Mm. Oh, I had to burp. <laughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. How, how not to talk to guys one on one. This is the first thing you do that you shouldn't do when it comes to talking to guys. Especially for a person like Yuri. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you, you, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry and read it! Whoever made this game is a monster. A fucking badass monster! <laughs> oh god, but I gotta look up this poem. Maybe it actually, because I can't fucking read it at all. So, I looked it up, and it looks like most of it has to deal with, like, a project or something. I'm not sure what it was. Um, let me see, actually. It has to deal with... 
It is eligible though. Um, only a part of it. And most of it really doesn't really mean much, but apparently, according to her commentator, this is about um this is about Project Le Leptinia, if I can pronounce that correctly. And I don't know what that is, but apparently uh, Matt Pat from Game Theory actually spoke about this. But the part that actually possibly might be her is going to be this part right here at the end where it says, if I can read through it, fresh blood seeps through the line, parting her skin and slowly colors her breasts red. I begin to hyperventilate. As my consumption grows, the images won't go away. Images of me driving my knife, driving the knife into her flesh continuously, beep her body with the blade, making a mess of her. My head starts going crazy as my thoughts start to return. Shooting pain assaults my mind along with my thoughts. This is disgusting, absolutely disgusting. How? Could I ever let myself think these things? But it is, but it's unmistakable. The lust continues to linger, to linger through my veins. An ache in my muscles stems from unreleased tension experienced by my entire body. Her third eye is drawing me close, closer. And that's where it is. Did you like it? I wrote it for you. This is scary. In case you couldn't tell, my poem is about blah 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 blah. Um, <laughs> more importantly, if I endowed it with my scent. See, aren't aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Oh, I, I think I'm going to vomit. Blank. Yes or no? Well, we're gonna do a coin toss. If I have a coin. Give me a, give me a second guys, I'm just gonna get a coin. You know what, fuck it, we're just gonna go with yes. Yes. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. There's no sound. Thank you Team Salvado for making me remind, for reminding me that the best girl is fucking dead. She committed suicide without giving me a choice to save her life. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright guys, we're going to leave the episode here. I wanted to keep it a shorter episode for this one because, you know, most of them are pretty much very long episodes. This one's going to be quite short. I want to add attention for the season finale that's going to come soon. I'm not sure if the next episode will be the season finale. It could be though, but still unsure. I want to have time so I can record a Kingdom Hearts gameplay before I go to work because I don't have that much time now. And I just want to add a little more attention to myself. I know, it's like, every time I question, why am I doing this? I regret everything, but I'm the one who's doing it myself because I'm the one who wants to have it this way. It just makes it a lot more of a thrilling experience to be within. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and just always remember to stay frenzy. Peace.